Hoshea chapter 7 When I would heal Yisrael, then is the iniquity of Ephraim uncovered, and the wickedness of Shamaron, for they commit falsehood, and the thief entereth in, and the troop of robbers ravageth without. And they consider not in their hearts that I remember all their wickedness. Now have their own doings beset them about. They are before my face. They make the king glad with their wickedness, and the princes with their lies. They are all adulterers. They are as an oven heated by the baker. He ceaseth to stir the fire from the kneading of the dough until it be leavened. On the day of our king, the princes made themselves sick with the heat of wine. He stretched out his hand with scoffers. For they have made ready their heart like an oven. While they lie in wait, their baker sleepeth all the night. In the morning it burneth as a flaming fire. They are all hot as an oven, and devour their judges. All their kings are fallen, there is none among them that calleth to me. Ephraim, he mixeth himself among the peoples. Ephraim, is a cake not turned. Strangers have devoured his strength, and he knoweth not. Also, grey hair sprinkled upon him, and he knoweth not. And the pride of Yisrael doth testify to his face, yet they have not returned to Yahweh their God, nor sought him for all this. And Ephraim is like a silly dove, without understanding heart. They call to Mithraim, they go to Ashur. When they shall go, I will spread my net upon them. I will bring them down as the birds of the skies. I will chastise them, as their congregation hath heard. Woe to them, for they have wandered from me. Destruction to them, for they have trespassed against me. Though I would redeem them, yet they have spoken lies against me. And they have not cried to me with their heart, but they howl upon their beds. They assemble themselves for grain and new wine. They rebel against me. Though I have taught and strengthened their arms, yet do they devise mischief against me. They return, but not to him that is on high. They are like a deceitful bow. Their princes shall fall by the sword for the rage of their tongue. This shall be their derision in the land of Mithraim.